In this video, we're going to take a detailed look at the maxillary central incisor. So let's start with the root. It's a single rooted tooth. It's generally a fairly conical shaped root, although in cross section it can be triangular in appearance. It tends to have a slightly rounded end, and there's usually no pronounced proximal root concavities. Next, let's take a look at it from the incisal view. So we do have an incisal edge, and it tends to be fairly straight across. We don't see some of the twisting that other teeth may have. So that surface is fairly straightforward. Now let's look at the facial surface. We've got three developmental lobes, the distolabial lobe, the middle labial lobe, and the mesiolabial labial lobe. We can also see labial developmental depressions in between these three lobes. We may also see some perichymata up in the cervical third of this tooth. The height of contours on the mesial and distal surfaces are going to be synonymous with the mesial contact and distal contact areas. So we find the mesial contact area in the incisal third of the tooth and we find the distal contact at the junction of the incisal and middle thirds. Now let's flip it around to the lingual surface. So we have a wide and deep lingual fossa. We have mesial and distal marginal ridges, which are these raised edges on the sides. And then we have a cingulum. Now in some teeth, the cingulum can be offset a little bit to the distal. Sometimes in the cingulum area we'll see a little developmental pit or groove. So looking now at the proximal from the mesial surface, we'll notice that the height of contour on the lingual and on the facial is in the cervical third. This tooth also has a very pronounced curvature in its CEJ, with the mesial being more pronounced than the distal. This tooth erupts in the mouth approximately ages 7 to 8 and is one of the widest crowns in the mesiodistal di direction. Finally, to distinguish the right from the left, the mesial incisal angle will be sharper and the distal incisal angle will be rounder.